So tonight I'm going to paint a painting from the San Francisco Bay Area. I've been requested to do this painting, something to do with the, the fog and the cloud in that area and how do you go about doing that. Let's, let's see how we go. I, I haven't tried to paint... I was once obsessed by being on mountains above clouds, like I love climbing Mont Blanc and Grand Paradiso, the highest one in Italy, and I was into my rock climbing and mountaineering pre-children and I used to love that idea of painting watercolours when you are above the clouds and you can see those clouds below you on top of the mountain. So I did, I have tried that a number of times but I haven't done that for years and years and years so we'll see how I go. It's actually quite difficult to get that effect of either fog or cloud below you and then things coming up through that. It's not an easy thing to paint in watercolour but let's see how we go doing that in a very free style. All the paints, paper uh, and brushes that I use will be in the description below as will any links to, you know, I don't know, the, the, the music or the things that I use or that sort of thing. So in case you're just asking, have a, have a look in the description below. Right, I went the page. So I'm just using a piece of Reeves BFK here and I'm just going to come in initially with some Windsor Yellow, very light bit of Windsor Yellow just coming in up here into white, up into there and then I might just load up with some might just load up with a little bit of Windsor Red to be pretty strong. That's okay. Let's just come in here and just bring this up into here a bit and waft it up into here. Some very nice light clouds. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of the Windsor Blue Red shade, light red, just to darken that off a bit and just bring it a little bit darker. A little bit darker again. We'll just bring in a little bit of that wispy darkness. In here. Just with the edge of the, of the hag. Beautiful. Now I'm going to rinse my brush out. Here comes the interesting bit. Now I'm going to come in with my mix of Windsor Blue Red Shade and Light Red. Just going to rinse it down a bit. And I'm just going to come in and bring it down into here like this. bit darker can I get another hake brush just with a little bit of that Windsor Red, just bring in a little bit of that into the tops of some of these clouds a bit. I'm going to darken this off again, bring in a bit darker, a bit darker. I'm not going to bring in the detail of the of any trees or any or any land masses yet. And now what I'm going to do is come in with a wet, clean hake brush. It's 
got most of the water taken out, I'm just going to pick up, pick up a bit, and I'll pick up Come in with this, it's got a bit of pigment on it. Gonna come in with some dark here. Some land. Just coming in and just lifting out some bits. Just coming in again with cleaned out damp hake brush.
All right, I've just stepped back and it's it's interesting. I don't, I don't love it, but it, it, it does kind of portray that sort of feeling of being up above. There's the fog or the clouds below and some trees, you know, sticking up out of that area. So I might just dry this a bit and then I'm gonna put in a little bit of detail before it gets completely dry. It's a bit too wet at the moment, everything keeps exploding at the moment. So I'm just gonna dry it a little bit and then just keep adding some detail and we'll see what we end up with. I'm just gonna spray a bit to just wet the page a bit, just so I can just keep doing a little, it's not completely dry. I'm gonna grab my good old fan brush. It's a beautiful thing about wet in wet, or wet into a little bit wet. Is that you don't need to worry too much about painting something exactly right. I'll just wet here a bit. Maybe I'll just get some detail. A little bit, not too much. And so you could keep going, and the, the, a few things that I like and don't like about this, okay, is that I like that the colour here could be hitting the cloud that's in here, so I could have done a better job of that. And I could have, in fact, brought in that warm colour first a little bit, and then brought in the cool, and that would have integrated a bit. With that is another option, or another option would be to completely dry this, and then bring in a very light little glaze over the top. Um, and a few other things is that this would almost, this process would almost be better off being done on arches, paper. It's got a bit more sizing, can cope with a bit more brush back and forth, back, back and forth than this, this Reeves BFK paper. So that is another idea is to do this with paper with a bit more sizing. But other than that, I think this, you know, if you step right back from this, it does actually look like these things are, uh, are poking up out of the fog or the cloud and that the sun, you know, there's beautiful sunlight here on the horizon. I think overall it does actually capture that feeling. So the person that requested this, I hope this was very helpful for you. I can't actually remember your name and I tried just scrolling through all my comments the other day and I really just couldn't find it. It's very difficult to find comments, I think, sometimes. So I hope you found this demonstration helpful. I hope that helps you with you painting the, the fog or the clouds in the San Francisco Bay Area. I really hope this was helpful. Obviously, if I just did this painting like 10 times now, I would get better, I'd learn some things, I'd do things differently. And that's probably what you should do too, is not just paint something once. When you wanna do a process like, like fog or clouds or that sort of thing, play around with doing it in lots of different ways and see what result you like the most. So good luck with that. I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. If you liked it, then please press like. If you want to know about future videos, then press the subscribe button and press the bell button. And if you want more help with your watercolors, then you can join me on Patreon. The link's in the description below. So thanks guys, thanks for all your support, 
and I'll see you guys next week. Good night.